Today we're going to have a look at finding the gradient of a line. Um, so we've already so far seen that from an equation, this number here tells you where the line crosses the y-axis and is called the y-intercept. And this number here, the coefficient of x, the number two here, tells you the gradient of the line. And the gradient of the line means how steep the line is. So a line with a gradient of two, look a bit like that, and a line with a gradient of five is going to be quite a bit steeper. And a line with a gradient of half is going to be sort of quite a bit less steep. Um, this number tells you the steepness of the graph. So if you are given the equation, you can easily see that the gradient of that is five and it's just a numerical value that describes the steepness. But if you're not given the equation, there are other ways that you can find the gradient of a line graph. And I'm gonna draw a couple of line graphs and we're gonna find the gradient. All right, there's two lines. Let's have a look and see if we can work out what the equation of those lines are. As it already, you can see that one of them is steeper than the other one. So this one, see what I'm pointing to, can you? This one is gonna have a larger gradient than this one. I'm gonna start with this longer one here. Um, it crosses the y-axis right there at about 13. So the equation is going to be y equals some multiple of x plus 13. Okay, now it's this number here that we need to find out the gradient, the steepness. And the steepness means really for every, if we find a point on the graph, every time we move forward one in that direction, we go up two to get to another point. Every time we go forward one space in that direction, we go up two to get another point. Okay, so we go, we move across one, we move up two, we move across one, we move up two. So the gradient is how high we go every time we move across and the gradient for that line is two. And there's the equation from the graph. Let's have a look at this one. It crosses the y-axis at about nine. So we can start with this. Y equals some multiple of x. Plus nine. And it's that multiple of x that we need to find by moving from one point to the next. Let's start down here at the beginning of the line. I can see that where it crosses a point. If we go across one, we go up one, two, three, four places to get back to the line. Move across one, we go up one, two, three, four places to get to the line. So the gradient of that line is four. So the gradient. Is, the, is how far across, sorry, how far up we go every time we go across one step, or it's the ratio of the movement in that direction to the movement in that direction. Um, if you don't, you know, your dots can be more spread out. So let's just try back on this line, which we know has a gradient of two. What if I went across to this dot? I go across two, and I go up one, two, three, four. So if I go across two and up four, can you see it's the same ratio as if I go across one and up two. Well, in fact, the ratio is how far up you go, which we call the rise, 
divided by how far across we go, which we're going to call the run, and the run is in that direction. So this can be worked out by finding two points on the line and seeing how far across you have to go to get from one point to the next and then how far up you have to go and just dividing them like that. Ah, uh, let's put another line on here and see if we can do that again. For this one, you've got to find, find a point, find a couple of points on the graph and they don't have to be right next to each other. We can go, oh, there's another nice easy point to get through. How far across have we gone to get, oh, to get under that point and how far up do we need to go? Well, we needed to go up three and we went across one, two, three, four, five, six. So the gradient Is, is how far up we went, which is the rise divided by how far across we went in this direction, which is the run. And that is, we went up three and we went across six. And then you simplify that. This is why it's, you, you, we're finding out how far we go up when we go across one. So to simplify that, three divided by six is the same as a half. So the equation for this graph is y equals half of x or we can write x over 2 means the same thing um or we could we could we could write half of x it's just easier to write it like that plus where does it cross the y-axis well let's see there's zero there's one there's two or about minus 1.5 Those are the same thing. That's the equation of that graph. Um, you don't always have to go in this direction. Let's just try this again. If I wanted to get from that point to that point, we would have to go back, wouldn't we? Back in that direction, go back the wrong way. And then we have to go down. So we're going back one, two, three, four, but because we're moving in the opposite direction. We are going minus four in that direction. And then we, the, the rise is gonna be minus two because we go down instead of up. So the gradient is the rise over the run minus two divided by minus four, which simplifies to a half. And you can see it's the same. So it doesn't matter which direction you go in to find the gradient. The gradient of that line is always going to be the same no matter which points you start at, no matter which direction you move. The gradient of that line is a half. We're going to do one more. Okay, let's find the equation of this line, um, the orange line. Y equals, what is the gradient of this line? Well, let's find a couple of points and let's figure it out. Where does it, that looks like a point right there. And where's another one? Here it crosses exactly here at minus three. So let's look at these points. The rise over the, so how far across do we have to have a backwards? Do we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's your run minus eight, and your rise is one, two, three, four. So the rise over run, that's four, divided by minus eight. Actually, it's not right. Gradient equals four, over minus eight, which is simplifies to minus a half. Okay, positive divided by a negative, that's negative four over eight, that's half. Y equals minus half x minus x over two. And it crosses at minus three. 
minus x over 2, factor 3 is the equation of that line.